We heard that you received World Stroke Award for We Reach, We Teach and We Treat. So can you please tell all about your awards, ma'am? Yeah. Um, I'm again very thankful that I have received a couple of international and national awards, I think around uh, 30, uh, of which the most important ones I would like to uh, tell. One is the World Stroke Award, obviously. Yes, it was under the Individual Achievement category. Now, World Stroke Organization is a world organization which caters to all the social, all the stroke organizations across the country. So there are around the many, many around the 32 countries which are an individual members of the World Stroke Organization. Yes, so whosoever does a lot of stroke related activities which reach out to the community and has lot of impact on the community to reduce the burden of the stroke. That will uh, definitely be recognized. And I think yes. I'm very happy that in Nellur, the World Stroke Organization is somewhere at Nellur, the activities have been. Now this Neurology on Wheels project which has been started by my foundation, Dr. Bindu Menon Foundation. It was started in 2013. Um, this is a small bus, it's yes, an old sir. bus which I designed into a small yes, um, uh, minivan like and it is like a clinic I can say um, where I can examine my patients because uh, what happens, you know, when you go to the villages, there aren't places where you can really examine the patient yes, and one-to-one -one interaction. Yes. Yeah. So in that van itself, so we follow the motto as we reach, that is from the urban to the rural community I go, that is we reach. Yes, ma'am. We teach is uh, yes. after I reach there, the whole village comes, you know. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma even if uh, it's not a neurological, they'll come and sit. So that's an excellent opportunity for me to make them aware about the diseases, yes, okay. especially the ones that can prevent it. So that is we teach. Yes, so I take a 15 to 20 awareness program, brief, crisp about epilepsy and stroke, what one should do, what are the risk factors, what are the recognition signs, what one should do when a when person gets a stroke, what you should do when you have epilepsy, it is not a disease of stigma. And then the last part is we treat. Then we check the blood pressure, we check the sugars, we check if the person has a, a seizures or fits epilepsy, yes, we get an EEG done for them. Yes, we take the weight, BP, we take all the uh, all the demographic data from the patient and, and then we distribute medicines for them. Yes. So this is an outreach program because you know that the rural urban disparity is there in, the, uh, in healthcare. The urban is self-sufficient now, you know? so most of them have houses, most of them have vehicles, they can come. But if you see the urban, when we visit the villages itself, you will see there will be stretches of roads, you know. Yes, so nothing on the sides, I don't see even one vehicle going. Yes, so if a person has a stroke, can you imagine how difficult it would be? I say you have to come in four and a half hours. Now how can that person get a vehicle, get the person into the vehicle, come back? And Very difficult, ma'am. I say it's already four and a half So there is a lot of disparity between urban and rural and that is where my neurology on wheels trying to bridge the treatment gap to see that if you can prevent the disease itself, then why to come to the hospital, right? Yes, ma'am. So I think that part of it, that is that motto of we reach, we teach and we treat was uh, appreciated by the World Stroke yes, Organization yes, and uh, I received Now this was did, uh, done by you ma'am, we reach? Yes, you. absolutely. Yeah, that is, uh, I have started a foundation, Dr. Okay. Bindu Menon Foundation and from there. A conversation with you inspired us to become doctors and service people. Please give us some suggestions and tips to become a doctor. Man. I'm so happy that there are two new doctors yes, <laughs> with, with me and I appreciate and I hope that you achieve what you have dreamt about. Uh, I think I would tell the students that uh, they need to remain grounded. There are three things when one should have. One should have a goal in life. See, and your goals should not keep floating. So today I may say that I want to become this, tomorrow I may say I may want to become this. That can be for some time, you know. Yes, like ma'am. You, you are trying to consider your options, you know. Yes. So that can be there for some time. But then your goal should be clear. What you want to, why do you want to? Yes, not because somebody has told that person is good, he has done well, he is doing well as an engineer, he is doing well as an architect. No. What are you good at? Yes, so there is everybody has got his own innate thing inside which he is extremely good at. You can be an excellent singer. You could be an extra, excellent um, administrator. You know, so that you should understand from the very beginning and what you are, and then you try to achieve. Then you should be very very patient. There can be lot of lot of hurdles in your life. There could be a lot of misgivings in your life. Yes. You may fail sometimes, 
but then your goal and target should remain yes okay. and that is why at the end you should be perseverant in what you yes, do if i fail today if i want it then i want it yes, i have ma'am. to get it yes, if it is good and if i am wanting to have it god is great my parents are there my teachers are there to guide me i have good good friends good people around me and i want it you will definitely yes, yes ma'am so to be grounded have your goals be patient be perseverant of whatever you are doing yes ma'am you will definitely yes. achieve what you want yes ma'am Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's really nice. Who has drawn it? Oh, excellent, excellent. So look at that. Like that. that is. I said absolutely yes, wonderful. Absolutely yes. wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. It's so close to the heart, you know. It's very yes, circular. Yes, <laughs> very nice. And thank you, ma'am, for you. spending your valuable Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for Wish guiding us, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. All the best. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for considering me at least eligible to have an interview with children it's something wow. extremely great it's extremely great you motivated us a lot ma'am we'll definitely reach our goals ma'am yes absolutely thank you so much for that thank you yeah. thank you ma'am thank, thank you ma'am thank you. bye ma'am we hope that again we would meet you ma'am absolutely absolutely, absolutely. again we'll meet you yeah. bye ma'am bye ma'am thank you ma'am